right footed out swing. It's played low and there's a good chance there. Patrick Hooban on the end of it didn't make a, a great contact, took a touch and Jimmy Corcoran happy to see that one go into his hands. We look at that again, John. Yeah, definitely a training ground move. Nice lowly whip. Patrick Saint. As they go long here. Coffee does well to take that and plays the ball Fair over ball. the top. Keating's Lob onside. On. He gets the shot across as he tries it as a cross come shot. To try. Was it a shot, John, or was it a cross? Yeah, it was a shot, definitely. I think just looking at the keeper's position, he had a chance to lob him. Ball bounced again. Watch the replay here, John. You just see the ball played over the top for Keating, beating that off try, offside trap. We should kind of make use of that, give the crowd something to, to kind of get excited about, especially in these areas when we win the ball back. Can we spring That's an attack a lovely like here? ball from Healy to Kostovic. He's got two ahead. He's got Owalabi. And Keating, Keating makes the move. Owalabi yes. is back out there. Goal for Cork today. I think it was an own goal, but you take that good area. Good Cork, run. Cork City won. Dundalk nil. 19 and a half minutes on the clock. Kevin Kostovic playing a delightful ball into the box. To find Keating. To find Keating, but did it come off? Alisley will watch the replay there I'm celebrating that if I'm Keating. There's no way he's getting that. <laughs> Let's watch the replay. It was a lovely ball from Healy into Kostovic. Kostovic looks up, plays a delightful ball. Keating made the move, and I think that's going to go down as an OG from Louis Annesley. Slugger Rovers have equalised against Shelburne. 35 minutes on the clock there, one apiece. Keating wins the ball off Leahy. Owell Abbey does well there. Healy, can he keep this in? He can. Places it. Owell Abbey! Straight to keeper and straight oh. to keeper again. Great goalkeeping by Nathan Sherper, but Owell Abbey knows he should have scored there, John. Yeah, absolutely brilliant play from Healy. Tunde getting in the box. We see it here again. He's done everything right. He kept the defender away. As well, able to deliver. Look at all those men inside the six yard box, John. He doesn't score it happens. in, and Shepard does well to get a fist to that. It was Gilchrist and Keating rushing onto that. Good. Healy. Can Healy get a shot off here? We know he likes to shoot. He can shoot. Oh, oh that's a fantastic effort from Matt Healy. Right footed, curling. I think Shepard had a cover, but a great effort from Healy, John. Yeah, you know, a player of that caliber when he's in around those areas. You see here. Nice little side step, steps in. Five in the box, two outside for them, Dock. They're all in on top of Jimmy Corcoran. He can be putting that in right on top of them. And he does. And that's gone all the way into the net. Dundalk has scored. And it's Ryan O'Kane, direct from a corner, has put Dundalk on level terms. Cork City won, Dundalk won. And that is the equalising goal. It's gone all the way in. You see the replay here. Does Jimmy get his, his hands is just caught? Just caught. He takes. It's deep. Still there. It's taking the shots taken by Tullock. Over the bar. He certainly had plenty of time there to have chance. a look and pick his spot. I went over the bar. John just got under it, leaned back a bit. Yeah, big chance. He went for side foot rather than power, but he ended up getting too much on it. I'm seeing a replay here. Ryan Tullock just on as a substitute. Looking to add to his tally. He scored five right this season. You can see the ball just falls to him. Just Keating looking for goal number eight of the campaign. Score against Shamrock Rovers. Eight man Shamrock Rovers here turns cross a couple of weeks back. Dundalk piling on the pressure though. Slogger. Mally, he's just done. Ball played in. Direction of Huban. Still there for Dundalk. Shouts for a penalty. Not given. Still there for Dundalk. Still turning the screw out of Lily Whites. Mally tries to shoot, slips as he does. But mind seeing that penalty shot again, John. Looked like it could have been a good shot for Dundalk to watch it again. Ball played across. Davies will throw it again. Goes back to him. Dundalk has space over the left hand side, but Kostovic as well just to cut out that option for Davies. That's Mally running at the court to the defence. It's okay. Vince Krezic, the freshman in. Gets the cross in, that's a good cross. Still there for Dundalk, and that is goal number two. Dundalk take the lead. As the substitute, John Martin, who heads home 
and Dundalk ahead here at Turner's Cross Cork City 1 Dundalk 2 5 minutes on the clock it was coming John it's been coming yeah and it's been coming from that right hand side just it's watch side. the replay there as the ball is played across Bradley says leave it for me he's going to go long needs, needs some to movement the referee's looking at his watch and that and that is the full time whistle Cork City's winning run has come to an end as they're beaten by Dundalk by two goals one here two at Turner's Cross